What's up guys? If you've done a lot of research on budget audio systems for your Razer, then you're probably in the same boat as me. I wanted something that was going to deliver a crisp, clean sound, but yet on a budget, and I thought that was nearly impossible stepping into this. All the videos that I watched when people said they were on a budget, their budget was a whole lot bigger than mine. They, they said, oh, I'm on a budget, I can only spend $1,200 on an audio system. That's a little too steep. I wanted to keep my price around that $400 mark. I wanted to have tunes out on the road, but not break the budget. So the first idea was doing a sound bar in the back. And when I built my roll cage, I built it so that I can put a sound bar underneath the, the roll cage. The more research I did on that, the more I learned that the sound bars aren't really the nicest thing out there. I saw a lot, a lot of negative reviews for those sound bars that were in my budget. So the next idea was to buy enclosures and put speakers in the enclosures. And I figured maybe I could start adding some stuff, adding some speakers and a radio, and then slowly add on a little bit more. So here's what I started out with. And the idea was that I was gonna get all this hooked up and then eventually get an amp to power everything, and then eventually two more six and a half inch speakers in the back and two more up front. But after installing what I did, I'm, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Um, this is a true budget build. I think the radio was maybe around 150. It is made by a company called um, Ply, I believe is how you pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's like 65 watts. Peak power output is 28 watts. So it's delivering 28 watts for each speaker, which is not a lot. Um, I actually didn't know it was that low, but the thing about this one too is you do get your AM, your FM. It is claims to be waterproof. The reviews seem very good on this radio, so I got that. And then next up on the list was the Rockville six and a halfs. Now these are a true six and a half inch speaker. What I didn't know when I first bought them is that they are single coil, not a double coil. So I didn't know that, but still very clean, crisp. And then I went with the DS18. Now this, I, I honestly didn't really know what it was when I bought it. I was, I Googled for a good small speaker. And I went with the smallest speaker I could find because of where I put it. And I'll show you guys where I put it. I already installed everything. I'm underneath $400 for sure. I think these were like $65, $70 for two one inch speakers. And I think this is maybe like $120, $130. I'll put links in the description. But I installed everything and I was completely amazed with the sound that I got out of just these simple components here. And that's kind of an issue that I had with my last Razer. I had, they were either five and a half or six and a half inch speakers on the sides. It came with the Razer. They were the MV Quartz along with the two uh, tweeters on the side door hooked up to the ride command. And it was horrible. At about 20, 25 miles per hour, you could not hear a single word on the radio. So I knew I didn't want to go that route. I also went ahead and bought a little antenna from Walmart. So I'll show you guys exactly where I installed everything, then we'll do a sound clip of the speakers going. Okay, first up is the ply radio itself. I decided to mount mine down here. I, I could have installed up here, but I kind of want to get one of those tablet mounts for up there and feed it through. So it, it powers, it holds all the songs and you can use the Bluetooth for the radio. But here it is. I did run into quite a few issues. Um, I'm a little upset that I lost the storage area, but there's plenty of other storage. I got the side bags and the storage up in the cubbies. I just used a drill, drilled out the hole. I did have to take my latch off. And then I had to cut up here on the inside where the latch hooks into because I could not shut the cubby with that in the way. To fasten it all down, I just used some self tappers all the way around. I think I'm gonna take some black silicone Maybe even if I do that, it's still not gonna be waterproof on the inside because of this lip. 
The radio itself does claim to be waterproof and all of my connections are soldered and uh, shrink wrapped. So that's the first step there. And I was able to run everything in the cubby. It's already got a hole. So I ran everything through that hole for all of my wires and ran it directly to the front where the bus bar is. Off to this side, that's where that one inch speaker is. It measures about three and a half inches on the outside di diameter. And the nice thing about these is it's full billet. So I have one on the passenger side and then I have one on the driver's side. And I mounted these down low so that the wind wouldn't hit them. Going to the back of the razor is where I installed my two six and a halves. I wanted to go up through the roll cage with the wiring, but unfortunately I couldn't feed the wiring through the roll cage. So I did make sure do your wiring correctly the first time. This is all steel braided line that's wrapped around my wiring, all waterproof connections. Make sure you do that. There's tons of kits on Amazon that are super cheap to do, to do all of that. Coming up here to the final part is the wiring itself. Now what I originally did was I hooked up my 12 volt directly to the battery. And then I thought the other power wire would be on off. So when the razor's off, it would turn off. When the razor's on, it would turn on. That was not the case, it stayed on. So I had to wire both of them to my positive terminal. Then you just have your negative terminal. So you got two going to the positive when the key's on, one going to your negative. It's, it's stupid simple. Then you have all your different colors for your front light or for your front speakers and your rear speakers. Let's turn it on and see how it sounds. Okay, so I just got the FM radio on. That kit was like $10 from Walmart. The video probably doesn't do much justice. Four Bears is looking for people to fill full and part-time positions in the food industry. Some of the positions include supervisors for the bison room and caching restaurants, cooks, cashiers, servers, hosts, bartenders, bussers, prep, and so much more. Work in comfort, flexible hours, full-time employees get health insurance, paid life insurance, 401k, vacation, and other great benefits. Start or restart your rewarding career.